just moved from where we were. We are waiting just momentarily to hear from the chief of police here in Ocala. We are standing on the outskirts of the mall. Behind me is where you see all of those lights, and we are near what was the Sears Auto Center. The police have blocked off this entire mall. It was evacuated a couple of hours ago. They called it an active shooting situation. Multiple people injured, like you said, and we have seen just a sea of police vehicles as well as the SWAT trucks, Highway Patrol here, Ocala Police, Ocala Fire, Marion County Sheriff's Office. The helicopter was circling at one point earlier. It is no longer. Um, but I will say that uh, in speaking with somebody that was inside uh, who we were texting with, uh, she tells us that earlier this afternoon she was inside the mall at the one of the stores in Aeropostale, and actually, I'll pause for a moment. We're about to hear from the chief here live. Good evening, everyone. I'm uh, Chief Mike Balkan of the Ocala Police Department. Uh, this afternoon at about 3.40 p.m., the Ocala Police Department received a call in reference to multiple shots fired here at the uh, the Paddock Mall on State Road 200. Uh, we responded to that call. Uh, they came in as an active shooter. Uh, we responded with a heavy police presence. Officers uh, immediately made entry into the mall. Ultimately discovered that this was not uh, what we would consider an active shooter. There was a, a shooting that took place uh, inside the mall uh, that uh, we believe believe was possibly a targeted act of violence. Uh, at this point in time, we have confirmed uh, one adult male has uh, passed away from gunshot wounds inside the mall in a common area. We have a secondary victim uh, with a uh, gunshot to her leg. She has been treated at a local hospital and is expected to survive uh, uh, those injuries. Uh, we know for a fact um, that our shooter uh, was a black male dressed in uh, a black uh, hoodie, black pants. Uh, he had a black uh, mask partially covering his face. Uh, he fled the mall, uh, 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 being und un uh, undetected. Um, right now, we're searching for him. We're in the process of doing secondary sweeps uh, of the mall to make sure everybody that might have uh, 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 done some uh, sheltering in place or evacuated safely. Uh, and this investigation continues right now. Uh, we're being assisted right now uh, by the sheriff's office here in Marion County. I've got uh, Under Sheriff Robert Douglas with us. Uh, the Ocala Fire Department is here with us. Florida Highway Patrol responded as well uh, and the mayor is here with us uh, uh, to assist as needed uh, that's about uh, all the facts that I'm going to release right now I'll be happy to try to answer uh, some questions I'm not going to release a whole lot of information uh, aside from what I've already uh, uh, told y'all but I'm happy to take questions any information you believe that the victim that has passed away was the target of the shooting uh, that is uh, what we believe at this time and, and I can also say uh, uh, that we have recovered the firearm that we believe used uh, that was left behind here at the scene chief I know sometimes I mean this can be a really chaotic situation while there might have been one injury from a gunshot wound. Was anybody injured as far as trampling, things like that? Yeah, so the question was, were there any other injuries? There were. We have, again, uh, one deceased from a gunshot wound, one woman that suffered a gunshot wound to her leg. Uh, we have some ancillary injuries. We had some uh, some chest pains. We have a broken arm being treated at the hospital as well. Were any members of the community able to assist before your crews, the fire crews, got on scene to keep lives safe? We, do, we did. Obviously, it's a shopping season, right? There were a, a lot of people inside the mall at the time that this happened. Uh, a lot of them tried to render aid where they could and helped out, giving descriptions and things like that to our to our officers as well, trying to help apprehend this individual. You have a message to the community. This is two days before the shopping season. It's it's the worst uh, the worst uh, thing we can imagine right now at this time of the year. Right now, somebody's uh, suffered a loss uh, in their family. It's a horrible time of year for this to, to happen ever, uh, but it's especially sad during the holidays. Uh, what I will say, you know, our hearts and prayers go out to the folks that had to witness this, to the families of, of uh, the survivors out there, the the young man that lost his life tonight. Uh, I would ask this uh, in closing. Uh, there's there's a lot of people here shopping at the mall, which means there's a lot of witnesses that could potentially help us uh, bring this case to a successful resolution. Those people are out there right now with that information. Please come forward. Don't be shy. We need you to call us 369-7000, or you can call Crime Stoppers. Give us that information confidentially and help us get this uh, get this person off the street quickly. You mentioned got away undetected. Do you know how ran drove? Yeah, well, I don't want to go into details about how he fled, but uh, safe to assume that we know for a fact that he fled the mall on foot, and I don't want to say much more about that. Well, um, I know obviously you guys have to look for the shooter now, but what does the timeline look as far as for, you know, the 
area around here. Yeah, so we're, the mall's going to be locked down probably for the next at least 12 hours while we wrap up our investigation. We've got a lot of evidence processing here. We've got a lot of work to do here at the scene. Uh, we would ask anybody out there that might be listening to avoid this whole area, avoid State Road 200, anywhere around the paddock mall. Give us time to do our job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.